Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Louie and Chris Chat Shit. Technically, last time it was talk shit. No, it was chat shit. Alright, chat shit. Chat shit get chat shit get banged, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Although I think we should call this Animated Chat. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Yeah. Because it's a it's a play on words, isn't it? It's animated. And it's a chat. Mm. And I think a chat sounds more like a short form mm. conversation. You know? Oh, sorry, mate. What? Do you not? Th- oh, you, you don't think that? So, I, 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 that was what? Well, a long form conversation, a long form of podcast would be a conversation, but a chat feels like it's mm. a, a um. It's the difference between a novel and a book story. Well, like like, like Janice walking past Hilda on the uh, on the street, and she's like, "Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you." Quick chat. Yeah. Have a quick chat about the bins. Exactly, quick chat, get banged, off you go with your day. What do you mean, get banged? What are you doing with Hilda? And who, who, who are you... Uh, when when was the last time you met a Hilda? I know a yeah. Hilda. Yeah, I met her on uh, Bumble. I don't think that counts as meeting. If you're just like... It was a real name. Hilda. I say it well. She's... I don't know. It might not have been. That's what they introduced her as on stage. On stage? Yeah. <laughs> All right. They never, they never have the real names, do they? All right, okay. Anyway, anyway, guess what, Louis? What? Hold on, I'll guess. No, I can't. What? Do you know it's been ten years this year since the Olympic Games in London? I do, because we've already we've already discussed this. Yeah. Well, then you should have known, then, shouldn't you, Dickie? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I should have known. Um, yeah, ten years since the Olympics in London, twenty twelve. So I thought it'd be good to um, to head back down memory lane today as we discuss what we remember from the London Olympics. Now, we could have done some research and found out all the little intricacies of what happened and reminisce over days gone by, but I thought it'd be fun to head back there, talk about our experiences of it, and uh, see what we can actually remember. And plus, we were, just, we were just too lazy to actually do any research, but we're, we're, I mean, like, we're spinning it to make it look like we're actually got a unique, a a unique angle. Whenever my name's... Um, Applied to something, people presume no research has been has been made. So, all right, let's 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 open this kind of Olympic worms. All right, first memory of the Olympic Games, Louis. Shoot, uh, my first memory of the Olympic Games was there was a lot of controversy around building the Olympic, um, what do you call it? Village, village. the village. Australia. Yeah, the village. It was really expensive and it's taking ages, wasn't it, or something like that. I mean, all Olympic Games, mm-hmm. wherever they are based in around the world. There's always some sort of drama around out how much it's costing or whether it will be done on time. But it looked touch and go whether it was actually going to get finished. And who was that guy? There was a there was a guy, wasn't there, who was in charge of it all. Is he like a Fox? What? Guy Ritchie? Shall we hold for applause? Uh, no, it, there was a. I think he's a lord now. I can see his face, but I don't know his name. This is great for a podcast. Se- Se- yeah, Seb- Seb- Sebco. Seb- there we go, Sebco. Yeah, what well, about him? He wasn't building it. No, but it. he was the uh, something. He was the spearhead, the weren't he? Spearhead. He, was a, he was a man. He was a man behind it all. Yeah, I guess if you go all the way back to like when it was announced, remember the, the time it was announced? No, I don't. And they were like, that. and the 2012, 2012 Olympic Games is going to because it was up between um, Paris and London, I think. And London got it, and everyone was cheering and all that jazz. But anyway, scrap that. Fast forward like four years. It might have been even eight years before that when they found out. Anyway, I remember. The opening ceremony. Is that what your first memory is? Hey? Of the actual Olympics, because that was the first thing that happened, mm, yeah. It was amazing, the opening ceremony, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Do you think it was amazing to everybody else around the world, or do you think we were just, like, creaming ourselves over it because, oh, NHS, oh, taxes, and all that jazz. Oh, industrial revolution. Well, what, Danny Boyle uh, directed the, the intro thing, didn't he? Yeah, he did it, yeah. Danny Boyle, the director of Trainspotting. And yesterday, and twenty-eight days and twenty-eight days later, starring Killian Murphy. There we go. Or as, as or is it more commonly known nowadays? Um... <laughs> He's going to do the accent. He's going to do the accent. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Shelby. Pretty good, right? Yeah. If if Thomas Shelby had fallen on his head, should have cast me in it. I'm telling you, they should have done, but they didn't. Good eyes. 
No, I might have didn't. Um, the, one of the bits, aside from that big theatrical introduction where there was ground and then like, there was like a, there was like green meadows and then all the industrial revolution came up and it was like Churchill and all sorts of gubbins. Uh, it's when they did the, the trucks with music on and they showed like the influence of popular culture. It's quite impressive. Yeah. yeah, that was good. And the queen obviously jumping out of a par- uh, uh, helicopter. She jumped out of a parachute. <laughs> She jumped out of a parachute into a helicopter. Out of helicopter. I mean, that's that's that was that was pretty good for an old lady. Yeah, she would have been in her eighties by then. Yeah, maybe late seventies. I can't remember. How old is she now? Yeah. Anyway, um, I don't know. Ninety nine. Looking fine. <laughs> hey Siri, how old's the Queen? Uh, Ninety five. She's 95. Okay. Yeah. Ninety five. Looking, looking alive. <laughs> Just. <laughs> mm, okay. I mean, I hope I look that good when I'm 95. Anyway, sports. Sports, yeah. So what do you remember about the sports, then, apart from, like, we, like, smashed well, cycling, right? Bikes were popular there's, there's in 2012. Like, yeah, there's, like, some big moments that come to mind. First was Bradley Wiggins winning the time trial because he'd just won the Tour de France. Like, everyone was bashing themselves over that one, weren't they? London boy, just won the Tour de France, first ever British rider to win the Tour de France. Is he from France. London? Rocks, well, technically he was born in Belgium. So he's not a London boy. He was brought up in London. All right. Why? He doesn't have a London accent, though. Don't I don't he? think so. Spent a lot of time up north as well, I think. Okay. I don't know. Answer on the postcard on that one, please. Anyway, ended up winning gold, didn't he? Smashed it to pieces. Threw me one silver. That's Chris Froome for, for you, Louis. Um, he would later go on and be a Tour de France winner. And a, uh, a man of high fashion in cycling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sub- subjective, innit? Yeah. Fashion. You know fashion. Turn to the left. Fashion. Oh. Turn to the right. Fashion. Mm, <laughs> okay. Fashion. Mm, fashion. <laughs> <laughs> um, were you even into the Olympics? This is the thing. You're not... I, I, I say this in the, the most respectful way because you are talented in many other areas, but you're not a sporty person, are you? I am not a fan of competitive sport. But the Olympics gets you, right? You, you, you get invested. Mm, well... So as a child, I remember my dad watching um, the Olympics and stuff like that. There were people running on track and competing. Mm-hmm. And it, that's that's yeah. athletics. And used to, oh, yeah. it, it used to come around like, every two or four years. So it was probably the Commonwealth Games and the Olympics. I used to find it highly annoying because <laughs> it used to dominate the TV. But the 2012 Olympics was uh, an odd one because there was so much excitement around it. I think it was like a really glorious summer anyway. Oh, um, and... It seemed to be like this big united front of like just enthusiasm and excitement. So I did watch it and I enjoyed it. So maybe I am a fan of competitive sport. Maybe it's just because I'm not very good at sport. Therefore, I shun it. Here, here we go. Then what's your what's your memory like? The what sporting memory do you hold dearly from the Olympics? The end. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the closing ceremony. So we're going <laughs> no, straight there. Um, Jessica Enos. So, so sorry, who's she? Is that not her name? What do you call her now? Enos Hill, Jess, J- Jessica Enos. Hill, Enos, Jessica it's Ennis. Ennis. You, yeah, I know what you've got in your mind. Pe- begins with a P. Pe- <laughs> Penis. <laughs> I'll write that one down. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be allowed. People, that's just Chris laughing. <laughs> um, Yes, Sorry, Jessica, Jessica, Ennis, 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 Jessica Ennis Ennis Hill. Hill. Yeah, she did really well, and she was from Sheffield. She still is from Sheffield. She did. She, she, she did all right. Yeah, she, 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 she got a, right. a gold post box out of it. Mm-hmm. She's near the, Where's that located? It's just outside the uh, the city hall in Sheffield. Yeah, well done. Near the fountains. Near uh, actually, right next to a Lloyd's pub. I remember pissing up that when I was younger. Pissing inside it, I think as well. <laughs> Chris, Chris didn't have a toilet child. as a child. He had, he had lots of boxes. Basically, Chris used to be a Labrador. <laughs> no, I never pissed up. Right. Me. Anyway, it's gold now. Golden shell. I knew that would come in. Just going to write that one down. <laughs> have a book full. <laughs> I'm not even going to charge you for it either. Thanks. Can you remember? So, can you remember what, like, because it wasn't just her winning. Like, during that. They call it Super Saturday, I right? Think. Yeah. So she won gold. Greg Rutherford won the long when jump. When was it on then? 
Um, it, uh, oh, that uh, it was. I think it might have been a Saturday. Cool. I think he won the long jump out of nowhere, and then Mo Farah went and won the. I don't know if it was a. Oh t- yeah, was a Mo 5K. Farah. That was um, that was his time to shine, wasn't it? Yeah. So they all like won medals. Yeah. They all won gold medals within like an hour of each other. And again, the whole nation just went absolutely crazy. But could you imagine, right? Could you, ima- especially Jessica Ennis Hill, how much pressure she must have been under to to win anything? Because her face was in a field as people approached Heathrow to land for the Olympics, so everyone saw it, and she was like, "This is my back garden, y'all." I mean, it's it's one thing you're to, to you're here to play my back garden. It's one thing to win at the Olympics, to, but to win in your own country. Where it's been hosted, that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, when everyone's expecting it yeah. as well. Everyone's expecting her to win. I wonder if that pressure helped. You've competed in. I don't know. Um, I'd crack. I mean, you've uh, you've done like competitive what? sport, Sorry, haven't I'm you? Not. You did. So, have I've you, done a did you dabble in a bit of Sunday league football? I've done Sunday league football. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yep. 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 Quality ball. Pressure. Yeah. Pressure gets to you there. I'll no, obviously, you were in the Commonwealth Games, so you know about yeah. competing at a, a high level. Um. Yeah, I don't know. For those of you that might not know that Chris was a a, a track cyclist. I was a track cyclist, yeah. yeah. The uh, Commonwealth Games in 2010. Ten. And? And 14. 14. 14, yeah. yeah. For Scotland. Yeah. Oi, oi. Okay, the new. I am brew. Fog on the tank. That's Newcastle. It's close. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. That mouse. What? That mouse. Just, uh, just my cat leaving. See ya. Yeah, she can use a door. <laughs> it's a very skilled cat. Um. So yeah, no, I mean, yeah. What? There was never any pressure on me because no one expected me to win anything. So just participating was was um, was all I needed to to worry about. So there was never any pressure. So, so you, I, did, you didn't feel felt, any pressure. I have no idea. But seeing as we're talking about track cycling, shall we head there now? Shall we head to the track? Because I've got some fond memories of that. The track. The track, the velodrome, the site of God knows how many gold medals it was. One, two, three, five, maybe seven or eight gold medals for the British team. Really? Chris Hoy, Jason Kenny, Team Pursuit, Team Pursuit Women's, Team Sprint, and then Ed won a gold, a bronze in the Omnium. Laura won the Omnium. Me? Yeah, it was pretty impressive. What's up with it? Oh, I just, my cat's making a coffee in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a very talented cat, I'm telling you. Cost cost yeah. a fortune. I yeah. bet it did. Is that its name? Yeah. <laughs> Fortune's its second name. <laughs> Can you remember watching any of the tracks? Yeah, I do actually. Um I, I, I have a little memory of uh I, I, did Wiggins do anything indoor? He did, but not that oh, year. What am I thinking of then? Potentially twenty sixteen in Rio or twenty 2008 in Beijing. Same thing. He was a team pursuer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, track cycling. Yeah. yeah. Gold. Can you, can you not remember Chris Hoy? <sighs> Chris Hoy, isn't he? He oh, said it. you got man. good legs, didn't he? He did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just one I yes would suffice. No, 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 no. He said... <laughs> There's an echo. He, he used my name. He said Chris Pritchard. And he said, what a ride. He said, what a ride. He was impressed. Chris Hoy was impressed by my riding. Just let that sink in for a minute. This is the, this is the face of Bran Flakes, mate. What are you? Oh. <laughs> no, Chris Hoy. He was. A- I'd be lucky to be the the face of um, Aldi's own brand flakes. I'd be the face of the middle aisle. Although I keep expecting to see my face in the middle aisle of Aldi or Lidl at some Why? point. Does it sell mirrors there? Just. F- <laughs> anyway, this is not about me. This is about Chris Hoy. Yeah. <laughs> he raced the Kieran and, and he led it from the front. Oh, it was amazing. What? The the German guy came underneath him. It looked like he was going to get him back. But then Chris went round the outside of him and smashed it and won gold and oh it was just oh it was it was what a time to be alive. I kind of feel bad for kids who live nowadays who won't have even realized that that happened only a few years prior to them being born and what a special time <clears> it was for people like us. Like the 1966 World Cup, mm-hmm. right? Like can you ima- although you're not a football fan, could you imagine a being part of that and seeing England win the World Cup if you're English it would have been amazing yeah I mean there weren't a lot else kicking about in 1966 so yeah it would have been a big deal weren't there? I'm no. kidding yeah that was a big deal Um, yeah so hold on a minute 
what was did did we win in the rowing as well? I've, or was that, I'm thinking of something else. Wasn't the guy that was like re- retired? I mean, yeah, yeah, we probably did that. Steve Redgrave. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I don't think he was in London. I can't remember. Right, maybe we should do some research. Do you want me to do some research on this? You can do. I'll tell you what. Let's just do a tiny bit of research. Let's pretend this is the Joe Rogan podcast. Um, London, the only place. Jamie, to Jamie, he's the best. We- Wikipedia. <laughs> Jamie, pull that up for me. <laughs> here we go. Right, here we go. Uh, what sport was it? Rowing? Yes. Tom Daly, oh, he yeah, won a medal, he, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, diving. All right. Yeah, Steve Redgrave retired. I think he retired in 2008, I think it was. Was that the Sydney one? 2008 was Beijing. Could be wrong. It might have been right. before that. Anyway. anyway um, Can't talk about that. Britain won the, Co- Britain won the Coxless Four. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, the Coxless Four. That's what Steve Redgrave used to... To ride, uh, drive, sail, oh, okay. paddle. I don't, I, don't, yeah. I don't know what you call it. Row. Um, How many? The women, Helen Glover and Heather Stanning, they won a gold in Coxless Pairs. How many gold medals did we win in total? Um, I'm going to guess. Well, I mean, if you're doing research. 25, but I don't know. Let's have a look. Medal table. Where's a medal table? Here we go. Medal table. Oh, 65 in total. Wow. Who, who, who topped the charts, though? Who was it? Um, is it Jessica? No, not bad. I mean, countries. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was a bit of an extreme reaction. Um, countries. Yeah. I was just going to say UK, because it felt like everything was going swimmingly well. Um, I mean, no. no. Was it Russia? Because they do a lot of... Uh... Russia finished fourth. They do a lot of... What's that? They do a lot of... Well, you know, they lie, don't they? Uh, China. Close. They finished second. United States. So, United States won 104 gold medals. China won 90... Uh, sorry, 104 medals in total. China won 91. And then we won... Oh, Team GB won 65. Russia actually won more medals at 68, but they won less gold. So... Mm-hmm. Big country, though, isn't so it, Russia? Go. Um, yeah, well, that's and again, that's why I think third for Team GB was such a great Amazing. achievement because, yeah, we we've got such a small pool of of people. But here we go. How many people? How many drugs tests do you think were 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 taken during the Olympics? That's the horse's answer. I don't know. Is oh is that is that is that horse for six thousand really? Six thousand tests were set to be taken between the Paralympic and the um, and the the Olympic Games no, just, by one hundred and fifty athletes. It was just Mo Farah. <laughs> guess how many as as late of twenty seventeen? Guess how many medals have been stripped due to doping violations? Ooh, hundred. No, seven. One hundred and seven could be. Uh, no, thirty one. Uh... Imagine that though, right? So 31 people who finished in fourth place didn't get to experience a podium or a celebration of getting a medal because people cheated. Yeah. That sucks, it doesn't does it? suck. But, you know. Go on. That's it. That's all I've got. But, you know. Oh, okay. But, you know, dot, dot, dot. And here's, a, here's, another, here's another question for you, Louis. How many times has London hosted the Olympic Games? Oh, three. Three. Well done. Yeah. Can you name those dates? 2012. Well done, yeah. 1947. Oh, close. 1943. No. 19... I mean, really close when I said 47. Yay. And the other one was 1910. Oh, 1908. 1908. I was going to say that, but I mean, that don't count, yeah. does it? Well, that's look at that. It's amazing, yeah, isn't it? and that torch has been going all those years. Yeah, well, it's been going since the Greeks started it in like Greek and time. Do you believe that though? Do you believe that? Yeah, it's a, it's an eternal. Did flame. David Beckham once like take the the flame to Greece when it was in Greece? I remember it was a big deal. Like he was on a plane with a naked flame or something like in a, in a bottle. Yeah, like, yeah, a, yeah, like yeah. a miner's lamp or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Good time. The closing ceremony. I can't really remember what happened on that. David Beckham kicked a ball. I remember I mean, that's that. That's what he does for a living. Yeah. Um, 
Spice Girls Reunited. Oh, right. That, yeah, so the music bit was the end. That's right. Yeah, oh. all right, yeah, the music oh, montage. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you yeah. call that woman now who did... Kate Bush. <laughs> all right, well done. But no. <laughs> so uh, apparently Adele was supposed to be singing. She was scheduled to sing at the closing... Rusty Lee. <sighs> That's the woman. That's a stage woman, is it? Rusty Lee and Diamond. <laughs> don't you know who Rusty no, Lee? It is? sounds like something like Sticky Vicky or something. Oh well, do you know what? There'll be people going mad now in the chat. All right, talking about Rusty Lee. Rusty Lee. Just because you the, say it the, over the, and over the, doesn't make it any more clear. The, was the woman uh, Jamie? Bring the bring Rusty Jamie's Lee. Jamie's the best. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, Rusty Lee had a laugh like that. <laughs> she did. Come on, you must remember her. Let me bring my screen up. Jamie, bring that screen Jamie's up. Jamie's the best. <laughs> Jamie's right, just a nickname from the cat. <laughs> here we go. There, look. I'm sharing my screen with um, with him, everyone. I, so, uh, so make, this is difficult because I've got to animate this. No, I don't recognise her. Okay. Well, that's well tell me what Rusty Lee did. She was a sh- like a, a, a chef, a, a cook on um, like TVAM on like back in the day. All right. I don't even know what TV AM yeah. is. It's it's it was is it what it, it was the predecessor. Oh, when did you become Ozzy Osbourne? <laughs> <laughs> it's a predecessor. It's a predecessor of GMTV. Okay. Wow. This is this has slipped off course, hasn't it? <laughs> Twenty twelve Olympics. Go. Um, so, yeah. So Adele was supposed to sing, but she got stuck in traffic and missed it. So imagine how big her career could have been if she made it to the Olympics. She could have been a, a big star. Uh, yeah, you don't really hear much about her anymore. No, do you? I don't even know her surname. But it ruined Adele's career. Adele was mm. la- Adele ish, whatever she's called. Adele ish. Yeah. Adele ish. Adele. 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 She now works in. A, she now <laughs> works in Adele. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Hey, what could have been? Could have been. So yeah, twenty twelve uh, Olympics. There we go. Bang, can you believe it's 10 years, though? Can you actually believe it's 10 years? Think about that, Thinking about it, man. Think it. Think on. Think hard. Do you feel like you're you're any further along in life? No. Yeah, me neither. On a somber note, this is is concluding. Well, it's been been, been, been a great chat. (laughs) It's it's, it's been... been, I guess so, yeah. Do you want to wrap Um, this up for us? Uh, thanks for listening. Make sure you like and subscribe to the um, the animated podcast. Animated chat. Animated an, uh, animated chat. I still prefer Louis and Chris chat shit. Get banged. <laughs> yeah. What? If you're lucky. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll I'll let you have the final word, mate. Jamie, roll credits. Bye, everyone. <laughs>